All right, so what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Um, here with somebody extremely special. Um, go back a long way. Um, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Jordan Campbell. I play third base for the University of Louisiana, and I'm going to be a junior this year. And yeah. Okay, that's what's up. Um, so the first question is going to be I pretty much ask everybody. So um, what was like your main, like what was your motivation to like to play base, me not baseball, to play softball? Sorry. I actually got started because my best friend signed up for Little League mm. uh, when we were seven. And after that year, she quit and I continued to play because I liked it. So that's how I got where I am now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, was there like, was there any specific athlete that you looked up to, it doesn't have to be within like softball, baseball, it could be in any sport. Uh, I've looked up to quite a few different athletes. Somebody who, you know, I have to look up to is Michael Jordan. That's who I'm named after. That's why my dad picked my name. Um, so being an athlete kind of was just a given for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, oh, see. Okay. Has there any, like many, many times where like throughout your years, like throughout high school, college, or even like back in like Little Leagues and stuff like that, where you kind of like had like a mini setback to where you just sit back and think like, oh, it's gotten real for real, for sure. Definitely. So <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely. I feel like softball and baseball, they call them like the games of failure. So you know, for us, batting 300, getting on three out of 10 times is good for us. And that's mm -hmm. like failing seven out of 10. So <laughs> hey, you got to deal with a lot of negativity. But yeah, definitely quite a couple of times in my career, I have definitely felt that. Okay, for sure. So um, uh, some people don't know, you started at Texas A&M your yeah. first two years or so. Um, what originally made you choose that school so actually the head coach of ul mm -hmm. was the hitting coach at texas a&m mm -hmm. so he recruited me to go there and i was really drawn to they were getting a new stadium built the culture there uh, you know a&m is one of a kind mm -hmm. <laughs> and so i was really drawn to that from a young age i committed there in the eighth grade so it was a really short process for me making that decision okay for sure so um two you know like two years ago COVID-19 happened um you know we all couldn't be around friends family you kind of stuck at home um most of y'all had to step away from the sport for a little bit kind of have to work out at home and even y'all sport was like just starting just starting so yeah. what, what kept you what kept you moving and motivated and what kept you pushing so actually for me, when COVID hit at the time, I went home and I helped coach a softball team back at home mm -hmm. in Houston and they have a facility there. So fortunately for me, I got to continue to practice while COVID was going on, obviously keeping social distance and all of that, but I had somewhere to be. What really kept me going was just the ability to still kind of practice what I love to do and be around my family and I kept in contact with all my teammates and you know we all kept each other motivated and through tough times we all checked in on each other that's really what got me through that okay for sure so um these next these next few questions got to uh, pretty much kind of see how you are who you are who Miss Jordan Campbell is so <laughs> this next question is any specific pregame music that you listen to before your games? Because I've heard, I've heard some different type of stuff. So anything you listen to? <laughs> so actually, for me, it's weird. So I don't like to listen to a lot of upbeat music before games. I listen to a lot of R&B music before games because I like to stay calm and it's calming to me. Mm -hmm. But that's I think that's different because all my teammates listen to like rap music and all of that before games. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I've definitely done that before. I've definitely done that before. I've heard the first one I've done, I've heard gospel. So, uh, okay, 
So um, did you did you make any like type of playlist or were you just like like going to flow, cueing music or yeah. So um, a little bit go with the flow. I actually have Apple Music and one of my teammates sent me her R&B playlist and that's the one that I listen to. Mm-hmm. So I just do her stuff. <laughs> okay. Okay. So um, what was I going to say? Okay. What, what kind of pregame rituals did you have? Like, did you like to like sit by yourself, isolate yourself or are you that person to be around everybody? Because I, the last person I did, they say, there's a lot of people doing TikToks, free games. So <laughs> yeah, let's have some free game rituals that you have. So for me this year, uh, I was always around my team, but a couple minutes before we would go back, go out on the field, I would sit, we have like little dressing rooms in our locker room. So I would go sit in there and I would go pray with one of my teammates. And then I'd sit in there for alone for a minute before I go back on the field. And I'd grab like two pieces of gum. And I'm always chewing gum. That's like one of my little pregame games. So that's all I used to do before games. Okay. Um, um, you just said how you always go and pray before games. How big of a part did God play in your life throughout just growing up? Growing up? Yeah. He's played a very big part. You know, I wouldn't be where I am without him. I've always, you know, I thank God for everything. I'm very blessed to be where I am today because of him. Okay, for sure. Um, what, like, as, since you transferred, was there any type of difference between a and Louisiana? Definitely. The culture at Louisiana is completely different than a and m a and m is it's your stereotypical SEC school. Very, it's a very big campus. Lots of people. You know, you're gonna run around and never see the same face twice. And I feel like at Louisiana, I've got to make a lot more personal relationships. And the fans in Louisiana are like none anywhere else. They are so personal. They come up to you. They know everything about you. It's just been an experience here to get to experience that type of culture here. Okay. Um, so when it, when it came to the traveling, because I've I've seen how y'all travel a lot, and that's yeah. an understatement for sure. Oh yeah. So like, because I I've, I actually looked at y'all's schedule, and like y'all would pretty much be in like two three states within like a week and a half two weeks. <laughs> so um, how was that? How was that? How trying to balance school work and stuff like that and practice. So for the most part, most of our traveling was done through a bus. Mm -hmm. So that bus would have Wi-Fi and a lot of us would either be sleeping or on our laptops doing homework. And it's it's hard to stay motivated to do schoolwork when you're on the road and you're around your teammates all the time. They're your friends, they're your family. So you get distracted. But a lot of us would just go into one room together and study or, you know, if we had anything due, we kind of tried to help keep everyone accountable with their schoolwork. And we okay. did have to study hall too a little bit. Okay. So kind of keeping in regards like 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 school and stuff like that and sports. What was like a typical day slash week within like, your week or day? <laughs> so a typical day for me would be um if we had weights, so we usually have weights at 6 a.m. So I'd wake up at 5 15 and get dressed and go to weights and then I'd come back to my apartment take shower go back to sleep <laughs> and wait for <laughs> class uh, I like my naps it, there's uh-huh. a lot of naps that I take <laughs> um so I'd you know go back to sleep for a minute probably grab a snack before I head to class and then mm-hmm. usually I'd have like a hitting group around 1 30 and then practice would be probably around 2 30 or 3 o'clock and we'd practice from three to five defense and hitting and all of that and then I would go to our training table, which is like the athlete dining hall, which is kind of walking distance for us. So we would all go there and eat dinner there and then go home, do homework if I had any and hang out with my teammates and then go to bed and start it all over the next day. OK, so um, have you have you ever tried to like model your game after like like a, like a, like a specific favorite player? Like it could have been like. It could have been a baseball player, and I actually just figured out there was pro softball. I yeah, just figured yeah. that out. <laughs> but, yeah, so 
<laughs> was there anything like any type of player you're trying to model your game after or was it like um I'm, I'm trying to be different or I'm trying to be myself for me the way I play it was more so me trying to figure out what worked best for me mm. not necessarily modeling off of anyone else but just figuring out how I wanted to be on the field I used to be really quiet kind of reserved and as I've gotten older I've actually kind of showed more emotion on the field so it's all kind of just me figuring out how I like to play. Okay. So as I've kind of seen and heard after kind of trying to find out who you were, um, I've seen you were kind of labeled as um, Miss Grand Slam, as they say. So, <laughs> <laughs> so having, having that label, what was that like? Having that type of label? Well, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I try to stay humble. I like, I don't yeah, for sure. to up like that. <laughs> names come like that I just kind of laugh and I'm like yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay for sure for, I like I love that answer for sure so um these these next these next questions kind of the two so the first one is um is there any advice you could give to any like underclassmen or anybody just entering into college entering into college and playing a sport if I were to give any advice to like an up and coming student athlete, it would definitely be to take advantage of all the resources that they offer for student athletes because they are huge. They're huge help, a very huge help. And I would also say if you do play a team sport, like get to know your teammates and have good relationships with them because you see them more than you see your family and it's just good to have people that, you know, you go through ups and downs together. You go wake up at 6 a.m., you go to weights, you go to practice. Just, you know, it's easier to do that with people that you know and love than somebody that you really don't know. Okay, for sure. So that, that second half is going to come, come back to you. So any words to you and yourself you'd like to say? <laughs> any like any like advice that I would give myself yeah yeah any yeah. advice any words of advice to yourself if I were to give advice to myself before I entered it would be to be yourself and just go in there and be confident because I know coming up into my freshman year I was really nervous and I was a very timid person and I wish I knew now like how easy it is to just be cool with who you are and you know embrace it and all of that okay yeah. <clears throat> so um as, as you as you finish your time at louisiana um is there anything you'd like to achieve or is there anything you'd achieved your first year at louisiana so my first year here i actually got newcomer of the year for my conference so i thought that was a pretty uh good accolade and i got first team all region for our region. I thought that was a pretty good accolade for me. Um, I hope to continue to get more accolades while I'm here. I got two more years, so I'm hoping maybe to get, you know, all, uh, all conference player of the year, all American or anything like that, you know, whatever the future has in store. For sure. So, you know, this past year, y'all just won the, the uh, conference championship. How that feel like, you know, you played my school twice and yeah. <laughs> within one weekend. So how'd that feel? It was it was an experience. So that was my first time being able to play in a conference tournament. And so I I enjoyed it. It was it was exciting. You know, we went in as a number one seed for that tournament, but we were really nervous the whole time, you know, wanted to play our best, didn't want to let up at any point. So it was really exciting to win. Okay. So um, this this last question um, is kind of making me want to think a little bit. So um, I don't know if you've been asked this before. So what uh, where do you see yourself within the next five, maybe 10 years? Well, for me, it could be many different things. Right now, I'm a kinesiology major, and I hope to enter PT school after I finish my softball career here. So I think I've got two more years here. So within five years, I should just be finishing up PT school and looking for a job in that field. Um, if not, I have 
considered coaching because I, I volunteer and I coach in my free time. So I've really grown a liking to mentoring girls and athletes in their career. So it's probably either going to be a physical therapist or coach in the future. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, and again, um, I thank you, Jordan, for taking time, 15, 20 minutes out of your time to sit here and talk for a little bit. I know you're in the process of in the process of recovering, so I appreciate you for real. Oh no, thank taking you. Taking time out thank for sure. So I hope I hope for a speedy recovery, thank and you. I, I you know for sure I'll see you on the field again. I'll see you for sure. Have a good one. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm.